Hello and welcome to mycadsite.com and we're going to do another exercise here and this one offers some new commands as well as reinforcing some older uh, bits of knowledge you already have in terms of absolute points and relative points and we'll be looking at the rectangle command as well as trim offset and extend and these are all commands that you will use a lot in your daily drafting so it's good to get these under control get to know them very well so that uh, you'll be able to be a successful CAD person so starting with the first rectangle on the left this should all be straightforward using absolute points from 1 comma 2 3 to 3 comma 2 and etc all the way around back to the beginning and that's your first rectangle using four separate lines the second one just to the right of it we're going to use the rectangle command for that and what that needs is two points a start point for one corner and then the points for the opposite corner so this time we'll start the rectangle command just by typing in REC and the starting point in the bottom left corner is 4.5 comma 2 and so we type that in and then it asks for the other corner point and in this case it's going to be relative to the first one at two units over in the X and two units up in the Y so we enter that uh, at 2 comma 2 and press enter and that gives us a new rectangle and the great thing about rectangle draw, drawing rectangles is that it's going to be much quicker than drawing four individual lines and also it's one object versus four objects so you can see that selecting the one object for the rectangle is very quick and easy if you're going to move it or copy it somewhere whereas if you use separate lines you have to select all four separate lines before you can move them and it's just a little more time consuming and that's the one thing we don't want in AutoCAD work the next one we're going to do is a rec the third rectangle and this one we're going to use the multi-line command which isn't something I use a lot mainly because I don't have full command over the lines and you'll see that you're going to be setting the width of the lines known as the scale so you start with the ML for multi-line and then you pick S for scale to set the scale which is currently at 0.25 and we want it at 0.15 so we enter in that and press enter and now we can start it so at 8 comma 2 and we're going to go over one and a half units in the X so once again using the relative coordinates at 1.5 comma 0 and then we go up one and a half units that's 0 in the X 1.5 in the Y and back and if I was to go back to my original point you would see that it doesn't quite close in the bottom left corner meaning the outside lines won't close so what I want to do instead is use the close command to enter in that so that all lines get closed and it ends up looking nice and clean but once again that's not something you might be using and yeah, there are certain areas of drafting that will use it and now we're going to go into the trim command so we're going to start by drawing a vertical line and then a horizontal line that intersects past that line and what we want to do is trim off the top part of that line right where the cursor is and to do that we need to start the trim command and that's just TR enter and then we select the cutting edge first and it's always important to know the order you select so I'm selecting the horizontal line and that's my cutting edge and I press enter and then it asks for the object to trim in this case I want to trim off the top so I select it and it trims it off clean to where that horizontal line intersects the vertical line and a similar command to that is the extend command and once again I will start this by drawing a horizontal line and then I will draw a vertical line 
and what we're going to want to do is extend the vertical line up to the horizontal line so now you see we've got the two lines and there's a gap in between the two and so I start the extend command and pick the boundary lines first press enter and then pick the line I want to extend and it extends right to it and if I zoom in you can see that it's very very exact on how it trims it now the next thing I want to do is draw a circle and then offset it and so I put the circle I enter in the center point and then I enter the radius in which case 0.5 I can just press enter because that's the default and now I use the offset command and once again this is a command that I use a lot and I'll use set the offset distance of 0.125 and then I select the object and then offset it to the outside by picking outside of the circle so the final thing to do is to turn on some O-snap so I can draw uh, one more line from the center to the midpoint of another line so now I once again I can just start the line command and you see I'm at the center of the circle to the midpoint of that line so these are all commands you'll be using a lot so learn them love them live them